Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be a quick guide on how to make a thumbnail. But I'm also curious what kind of methods you guys use to make your thumbnails. Do you use Photoshop? And have you ever tried After Effects? So in this video, I'm going to try to convince you that Adobe After Effects is actually a great tool to use to make thumbnails. Now, let me show you how to do it. I open up Adobe After Effects and I drag in a file. So this is going to be the team crafted intro and I'm just scrolling through the video to try to find a spot that looks good for a thumbnail. Now, I want to make an adjustment layer. So here's how the adjustment layer works. Any effect you add to the adjustment layer is going to affect all the layers below it. So I add an adjustment layer here and I just want to rename it. I'm going to add an additional adjustment layer and I'm going to rename it as well. So one adjustment layer is going to be for like lens flares. The other adjustment layer will be for general effects. All right, so here's a really cool effect that I add. So the cool thing about this effect is that it adds like a shadow on the outside. It kind of darkens the edges a little bit. It's pretty cool. Now, this is all built into After Effects. So you don't need any special plugins to use these. Add a little hue saturation. Maybe bring down the saturation a little bit for some additional color grading. I'm just going to kind of describe the settings that I'm using. Now here I add some text. I go up to the menu and I click on the text tool and I add some sample text. This font is a little bit small I realize. I select the lens flare adjustment layer and I add a lens flare. Now this, okay, this lens flare is not the most epic lens flare and there's already lens flares in the scene so I don't really need it. I'm just messing around here. So you can see you can make you can make a thumbnail with text and effects using just Adobe After Effects. Let's take it up another level and let's add some 3D text. Now I'm using Adobe After Effects CC which comes built in with a light version of Cinema 4D. So let's check that out. But here I'm going to open up the full version of Cinema 4D and I just added some random concrete texture and some lights and a camera. Now, in Adobe After Effects, I import that file and I can drag it into the scene. So I just drag it in here. I drag it into the scene like this and you can see it appears. Under the Render Settings tab, you can select the quality that you want to preview the 3D text in. Here I just do draft mode so that it previews fast. If you go to full quality, it takes a while. You can add some additional effects to the 3D text, including a drop shadow that kind of emphasizes the text a little bit. And here, I'm going to add some Magic Bullet Looks, which is a really cool plugin. It has a lot of different effects. I'm just going to click through all the different presets to find one that looks cool. And here I just kind of randomly stumble upon this effect looks really cool it has a tilt shift in it which is a pretty cool effect and i can also add some additional lighting effects to it and i can add some other lighting effects to it and here i want to darken the edges a little bit because i think that will bring out the text a little bit well let's see what happens all right so there you go there so that's a thumbnail and again, you don't need Cinema 4D and you don't need all these extra plugins. You can do this all with just After Effects and the text tool. I think of After Effects like the Photoshop of video. It has all the tools that Photoshop has. So here's a more complex example. I'm using a scene from Symetheus the movie. And I also add an adjustment layer and I duplicate the layer. All right. But now I'm going to hide the top layer. So I'm just looking at the bottom layer. I add some. Uh, some blur effects, some radial blur, and I add another effect to kind of make it look really blurry. You're going to see what I'm going to do here. This is going to look cool. Alright, so I add that effect, kind of tweak it out a little bit. Now, I enable the top layer and I use the mask tool to draw a really bad circle. Wow, that's the worst circle I've ever drawn. And I'm going to try to feather it a little bit and add some additional effects here. I add a little bit of exposure and that's just going to give it a kind of a, it's going to give it somewhat of a cool 
effect, I think. Now, going back into Cinema 4D, I export it as a .exr, which is a file format that supports alpha, but you can also use .png. And I import that into After Effects, drag it into the scene, and there's the text, Cymetheus. I'm not using the Cinema 4D plugin, I just basically exported the text from Cinema 4D and imported it into After Effects. I can apply some additional effects to the text, maybe change the color a little bit to make it match the background. I add a little drop shadow to it, I adjust the curves, the color correction. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope I was able to convince you that Adobe After Effects can be used to make thumbnails. And uh, if you agree with me or disagree, let me know in the comments and also let me know what tools you use to make thumbnails. You can also download the After Effects template that I used in this tutorial. Just check the description for a link to download that file. If you like this video and you enjoy these short tutorials, please give me a subscribe. And to support the channel, you can like, comment, and share this video with others. If you have an idea of a tutorial that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, good luck and have fun.